welcome back to my channel um today is november 2nd so it's i think four days maybe three days after my last vlog was filmed so i have today off um cody's working i wanted to bring you guys along with me today i'm going to just show you how to do uh, chicken broccoli and cheese casserole how i do it in the crock pot this is going to be a first for me so it'll be a trial here but this is the recipe i think it's backwards for you guys but I have to go get two cans of broccoli cheese soup and then we'll put it in the crock pot and let it cook all day. So let's do that. Today looked a little bit more put together as well. Um, I slept yesterday, so I worked the night before and I slept yesterday until about 2.30 and then I went to bed around midnight and then I got up around 8. So I feel pretty good, pretty rested. So I'm going to go to Hannaford and pick up those cans of soup and then I'll be back. So I just got to Hanford. I was thinking on the ride over here, um, I don't want to portray that I do my grocery shopping at Hanford because I don't. I do it at Walmart. One, because they're less expensive. Two, because it's really the same quality stuff, it just doesn't have Hanford brand on it. It's great value, which is absolutely fine with me. Um, really the only time we come to Hanford is if we need something quick or we need something that's small, like my two cans of uh, cream broccoli soup. One, because it's a lot closer than going to Walmart, because Walmart's all the way across town for us, where Hannaford is right down the street. So, I'm gonna go get some broccoli soup, go home, put it in the crock pot. So I just got my soup. It was $1.69, I think, per can of soup. I did get three cans of soup, because it's called for two, but I'd rather it be more creamy than dry. So anyway, I got three cans of soup. It was five oh seven for three cans of soup. To me, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just being unrealistic, but in my brain, for some reason, I feel like a can of soup should be a dollar. Maybe. So, anyway, I am gonna drive right over there to the Dollar Tree, mostly because we need some more baskets in our car. In our car, yeah, okay. We need more baskets in our bathroom for the stuff that we have in our closet. Um, mostly because it's just an open door to our closet, so any items that we have in the closet in our bathroom are exposed so if it doesn't have a basket it doesn't really look that good so I'm gonna go over to the Dollar Tree which is right across the parking lot which I'm actually gonna drive over there because there's a lot of people at Hannaford and I'm gonna go pick up some baskets and then I'll go home okay so I'm home and I'm gonna do oh first I want to show you what I got at the Dollar Tree so this is just Clean Linen Glade, one of those little scents. This is for the closet that Nala litters in because it really helps. Um, she doesn't really like to cover up her poop. I don't know why. I don't know if her mom, mom and cat didn't tell her that or show her that. But anyway, you can really smell it. So we have to scoop it right away. But this really, really helps with that odor. So anyway, I got that. So everything at Dollar Tree, if you don't know, is a dollar. Whoop. I don't want to drop you guys. So, and then I got these little cups. They're like a mint green. This is the color that our, or my towels are in the bathroom. Cody's are black and gray, but. So I got three of these. So I went, and then that scent thing, and then I'll go fix the bathroom after, and I'll show you guys how that turns out too. So we are gonna do chicken broccoli cheese casserole. So we, it says three to four chicken breasts. I have two, but they're pretty big chicken breasts. And they don't have to be frozen, which is really nice. So I can just put them in the crock pot. And then we have two tablespoons of garlic powder. This is my little tablespoon. These are Pioneer Woman. I love Pioneer Woman. I have a rolling pin right behind the camera that's Pioneer Woman. My tea kettle is Pioneer Woman. My salt and pepper shakers are Pioneer, Pioneer Woman. I have a butter dish that's Pioneer Woman, my crock pot's Pioneer Woman, and I have cups that are Pioneer Woman. I love Pioneer Woman. I don't know why, it looks like a little old lady print, but I think it's so pretty. And they don't really match everything, so it's kind of like a mosh posh, which is fun for me as well. So, anyway, um, 12 ounces of broccoli florets, so I just got this. This is from Walmart just a package of broccoli which is going to be really easy and fun so i bought a really big one a 32 ounce because i wasn't sure how much chicken that we had but this is going to work just fine and then i have 
the broccoli cheese soup. I am only gonna use two cans because we're not using a ton of broccoli or a ton of chicken. So I think if I use three, it'll be too creamy. And then we have a cup of shredded cheese. So I'm just gonna use mild, ch mild cheddar cheese and put it in the crock pot. So my crock pot is right here. It's Pioneer Woman. I love Pioneer Woman. So this was actually a bridal shower gift from one of Cody's cousins, I believe. It was Jackie, I could be wrong, it could be Jocelyn. So if you guys are watching this, sorry if I mixed it up, but I really think it was Jackie. But I love it, and it's a really big crock pot too. So anyway, I am gonna put this in. I'm gonna cook this for eight hours on high, and then check the chicken. Actually, it's a really good job at cooking the chicken. So anyway, I'm gonna put this together. I'll let you guys watch, and I'll play some music when I watch, when you guys watch. This is the closet in our bathroom. There's towels here because I have all the rest of them <laughs> downstairs. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to put some of the soap. Oh, that's focusing. Some of the soap up on the shelf in a little bin. Um, I'll probably move this toe over a little bit and then put one of these little mint, mint things in the middle. And... I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with the other one, but I will keep you guys informed and show you the after picture or the after photo. So this is what the bathroom looks like after. So there's a tub here, a tub here, and then a tub off to the side that you can't see. This is Cody's stuff in it. So the towels are folded now and the, there's no dirty clothes on the floor. So this is what it looks like after. I'm happy about it. It looks a little bit more tidier, so that helps my brain out a little bit. Um... Yeah, if something is organized that I see organized, my brain feels a little bit more organized. So this helps me. So I did want to update you guys on my nails. So they're all still attached. However, the stickers that I put on my nails seem to, seem to come unattached for my nails pretty quick. But it did come with a glue bottle, a nail glue bottle. So you can stick them back on. So I recommend if you're going to do these, with the stickers and not the glue at first, have the nail glue bottle with you. Because today I was in the Chick-fil-A line ordering lunch for my husband and my thumbnail was loose. So I, I don't know what the people thought behind me, but it was pretty long lines. So we were stopped. I was in park. That's how long the line was. And I pulled up my nail glue, fixed my nail, pushed back on. And away I went through the Chick-fil-A line. So that's going to be for all for this vlog. Um, I'll let you guys know how this casserole turns out because I've never done it before. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Um, let me know what you want to see, what type of content you want to see, and what you want me to put out there. Um, I really would like to keep on the lifestyle type vlogs. So, But I'm really enjoying doing it so far. So thank you for your support and your love. See you guys next time. Bye.